Oh, so I just finished finished my intervals. That's fucking hard. <laughs> Mainly because I got lost. I ended up going downhill um, on some of my intervals. And then here, uh, like, I end up in some private road. And, like, my interval was just a bit of a fail. So first two, very good. Second two. Actually, the, the last one was all right until the last, like, minute or two. And I fucked it up. Um, but... The other one, I was like trying to, I was trying to hold like 300 watts downhill. It was not clear. It was not good. But you know, like overall, not too bad. It was really weird though, because I found that on the um, on the flats, it was a lot easier for me to hold power than the climbs. And normally it's the opposite. But I think it's just because I've been doing a lot of flats, which is actually really good. So it means that I can hold better power on the flat than a climb, um, which for the UK racing is pretty useful. Um, yeah. Apart from that, it was it was a good session. Um, it was quite interesting because I did basically like a surge before, surge after. So it'll be like 15 seconds at like anaerobic, then 11, 11 minutes 30, and then another 15 seconds. So it was like a 12 minute interval with bookended by some high intensity. It was quite tough. It was good. It's my first threshold of the year, obviously, but also of this like season, I guess you could call it. Um, felt alright. Hit like 280 um, or something. Like not incredible numbers, but good nonetheless um but also i think when i start climbing a bit more and do more climbing practice um i'll get a lot better uh my numbers will go up on the climbs and also i think the heat i shouldn't i went out at like 12 um that was an error because it's, it's not like super hot it's like 25 30 25 degrees but for me it's quite hot um but yeah it's a good ride pretty happy with it um so yeah um, the GoPro footage will be after this, so enjoy that. Um, I'll probably do a bit of commentary on that, just to tell you what I was feeling. Um, anyway, see ya. So this is my last interval. We're just coming to the end of um, the rest period. Um, so here we go. I'm going to put in a little surge in a bit. Um, so here we go, push up to 500. It was supposed to only be 390 average, I think. But anyway, pushed up to 500 and then draws it back down to about 300. I was trying to hold 300 for the last last interval um didn't really work but so the thinking behind the whole um surge in the beginning is to sort of increase your heart rate so you get more time accrued at a higher heart rate so it's more stressful on your body than if you just start a threshold because if you just start 300 watts let's say it might take you two or three minutes to increase your heart rate to the right zone which obviously isn't important the necessary the zone but it's just showing you that you're not working as hard as you could be um, so yeah, I think that's the main reason you do it. And also, in a race, let's say, often when it gets to the bottom of the climb, everyone sort of surges, like, tries to get in position, so it's more race-specific race, race specific than just doing a 12-minute interval. Because when was the last time you in a race you were just, like, cruising along and then just did a 12-minute interval and then stopped? Like, there's always little micro-surges. So, um, you need to try and sort of represent that as best as possible in training, and I think it's quite a good way of doing it. So I was hurting quite a lot here already. Um, I can really keep my power very consistent at all. It keeps on going up and down, even though the gradient is relatively smooth. I'm not sure why. I think it's because I'm quite tired. But yeah, there we get down to like 240. I should have looked a bit more at my power and concentrated, but then we get up to like 350. I find like often I quite like oscillating my power too much. Um, getting too excited, go up to 350 and then down to 240. And I always look at the average. I'm like, oh, I was always over 300. But it's like, no, you weren't. You actually need to look. Um, and realize that you know, like most of the time you're sort of slightly below to, um, when you think you're just going 270 or like actually 240 or whatever um, but anyway it was a good effort nonetheless um, it was quite a nice quite a nice climb it's like the after Norton Summit on the way back basically so I did most of these up Norton Summit then I ran out of road had to do try and do an interval downhill and then this is on my way back up to um, the top of Norton Summit um, the climb doesn't actually end up being long enough. I can't really find one which is like 45 minutes long. Um, what well, a Norton Summit and like the remainder of it isn't. Um, so it was a bit annoying. But anyway, it was quite good. Good training. It was nice going uphill. But I, as I said in my um, before, it was really weird because I actually found it a lot easier to hold the power on the flat compared to uphill. And normally it's the complete opposite. But I think it's because I'm doing a lot more flat rides and spending lots more time doing intervals on the flat instead of the climbs is really helping me produce the power on the flat, which is, to be honest, what I need to do because there aren't many 10-minute climbs in the UK. Um, 
But it's good, I think, in Adelaide, I want to concentrate a bit more on the hills, because there are just so many hills, and also it's just quite nice riding um, up hills or whatever. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do some races here. I, I have the ability to race, because I have my British Cycling membership and the authority to race in Australia. I just need to decide. I'm not really sure if I'm going to bother to do a crit or whatever, but if there's some, maybe some hilly road races, might might have to give it a go. Um, that'd be quite fun. And see how I stack up, see if Adelaide does have... Incredibly far cyclists. Um, I think on this section here, I was like, like decently high rated, but nothing, nothing close to top ten material. Um, this is not really surprising because this is more of a threshold effort for me. And even if I did a VO two, I don't think I would be because they would they're hitting some good watts. These blokes who come at the top. So you can see heart rate's getting up to like one eighty eight. Suffering. My max is two hundred, but it depends. Like when I'm quite tired. Um, doesn't get up as much, but then other times when I'm having a bit of rest or if I'm in good form, I get up to 200 pretty easily, especially doing VO2 intervals. But you can see my power keeps on just because I get out of the saddle and then spike it up. I need to learn to just be a bit more consistent and just hold my power better. Um, but anyway, this is a pretty nice climb. Um, it's quite. Nice. I, I feel like I quite like the less slightly less steep, like six percent climbs. Um, just because you feel like you're going a lot faster, I think that's more mental. But having said that, like I don't know, I just find like seven, eight percent climbs are just a bit of annoying in between. But when it gets super steep, it's just fun because you're sort of like you have to put in power just to sort of get up the hill and stay alive. While seven, eight percent is normally just a drag, and like you end up going not super fast. But I find it not as comfortable, um, and I also found it harder on the steeper parts when I got seven to eight percent. I think my bot seven to eight percent, not seventy eight percent. I think my body's just not really used to putting power like that. It's more used to the flat, where it's slightly smoother, and um, it's just different. It doesn't really... When they looked at it, they didn't use different muscles, but I think it's just the timing of the muscles. It's different. Um, but anyway, we'll get better at that. I have no doubt in that. Um, so you can see this. It's mainly straight, a bit of like winding roads, but nothing, no crazy hairpins or anything, which is quite nice. Um, quite easy to get into a good rhythm and just sort of smash it out but I didn't really I yeah I still didn't get into a great rhythm I think I definitely need to improve that having said that I don't do long climbs I mean I don't really do many climbs over for sort of five to ten minutes just because there aren't any where I live um but obviously in Adelaide there's loads so it'll be good to practice um on these climbs and get better at them um so I think coming to the end of the climb soon um so yeah, I think I'll call it a day here because I basically just keep doing this for another about five or six minutes. So cheers for watching. Um, what do you think of these intervals? Are they good? Uh, That's what my coach said to do, so I've done them. But what do you do? Do you prefer sweet spot? Do you prefer threshold? Threshold with spikes? <laughs> what is the, <laughs> the That is the question. Anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next vid.